Hey, I'm Larry McReynolds. Hopefully you enjoyed our Circle B diecast videos this year. Myself and Cole Custer, we've had a lot of fun. So we thought since the end of the season is near, the holidays are near, we'd kind of have a holiday setting and we would just do our final video of 2022. So Cole, we've got just a handful of races to go. I guess at the end of the day, how would you kind of sum up 2022 for you and your 41 team? Yeah, I mean, I think for our team, you know, we've had glimpses of having speed and running up front and we've had some good races. It's just a matter of doing it consistently, which is always a tough task. But I think, you know, we've we've shown we can get the speed. It's just a matter of we ought to take it to every single racetrack. We're starting to find our groove a little bit. And I think uh, hopefully that leads into next year good. Well, that's kind of what I was looking at, because when I look at the second half of the season, let's say from July 1st up to now, uh, you've had speed at a variety of racetracks. You know, you had a great run at Atlanta in July. You had a good run at Bristol, the short track, good run on the road course at Indy. So that has to be encouraging knowing that it's coming at a variety of racetrack, not just intermediates or short tracks. That has to be encouraging. Yeah, I mean, that's what it is now, too. I mean, you look at the schedule. We have the most diverse schedule we've ever had. You know, we have dirt tracks, road courses, super speedways, you know, our regular mile and a half. So, it's just, you got to be good everywhere. What about Stuart Haas racing as a whole? Obviously, Chase Briscoe, he gets that win really early at Phoenix, qualifies for the playoffs. Kevin Harvick gets hot during the summer, breaks a very long winless streak, winning back-to-back -back races at Michigan and Richmond. Uh, did get eliminated the first round. What, what about the company as a whole? I think, like I said before, it's kind of we're starting to hit our groove more and more as the season goes on. When you really figure out, all right, this is what we need to bring instead of, you know, looking at this shiny object like right here that looks like it's going to be fast, but you really don't know. Um, you kind of you find your package, keep building on it. And I think that's what we're starting to find here later in the year. What, what about maybe a little more testing? I know we just had a test a few weeks ago down at Homestead Miami Speedway with would you be open to that? I know that's cost and more time away, but would you be open to maybe just a little more testing? Yeah, I think so for sure. I mean, I think there's always the balance, um, but I think having a little bit more practice, a little bit more testing, you know, it wouldn't be a bad thing of just, you know, having it to where the teams can work on their cars, you know, because you see a lot of times where one guy dominates for a while because there's no time to work on anything. <laughs> so yeah. I think that would be that would be helpful, but obviously the big thing is how we not make it too expensive for the teams. Right. So if Cole was keen for a day and you could change one thing about the next gen car, and I, I'm not, I don't want to get into all the safety <laughs> stuff and all, but if you could change one thing about the next gen car, say for 2023, what, what, what would it be? You know, I, I've thought about that actually. And, you know, you look at things like, like the tires, you know, obviously we've had tire problems this year, um, the aero side of it, you know, whatever it is. But I think honestly, the most surefire, easiest way, to make better racing and more in the driver's hands is just more horsepower. I think if they added more horsepower, I hear that a lot. I hear that a lot. It, it would it would serve, solve a lot of problems. It would solve a lot of tire fall off. Of, you know, put the more in the driver's hands. Maybe take some more aero out of it. You know, I think it would be a, a very easy fix if they could or put some more horsepower in it. You know, one bright thing for Cole Custer in 2022, running that Xfinity Series car for SS Greenlight Racing, <laughs> four starts. Top five at Austin, but how about winning at your home track? I guess you could almost call it Gene Haas's home track. It had to be pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, that was awesome. And also for uh, Dale Sollin at Production Alliance Group, he was a sponsor on that car, and that was a home race for him. So it was a big race. I mean, obviously winning at home, I've won there twice now. It's it's a really special feeling, like you know. <laughs> but, yeah. um, you know, those Xfinity races were really fun. Having Bobby Dodder and Victor Lane and all those guys, it was it was a blast running those races and seeing what they were, you know, seeing what we could do. Well, one thing that will happen between Phoenix and Daytona is you're going to gain a little left side weight, <laughs> I might add. Uh, how's the wedding plans going for you and Carrie? It's going good. It's going good. So we're getting married in January in Charlotte. So it's going to be a blast. I mean, I'm excited for it. She's excited for it. So it's, uh, it's going to be a fun time. And uh, you know, it's, you can only do it really in the off season. Like you learned, I guess this oh, year, I learned the hard way. <laughs> it's, uh, it, you don't have many off weekends to choose from. So we kind of, we did it pretty, you know, pretty fast, got everything together just for this off season. Cause we would have had to wait another year and a half for the next one, but, um, it's going to be, it's going to be a good time. Are y'all going to be able to even take a honeymoon after the wedding? We will. So we'll, we'll have a few days and go to the Caribbean or something. So it'll be a fun, fun time for sure. 
Well, I know we did our first video, gosh, seems like it was way back about eight or nine months ago, but I have really enjoyed doing these videos with you. And hopefully you've enjoyed these videos. We've enjoyed doing them a lot. And remember the holidays are just around the corner. So for all your gifts for friends and relatives, go to circlebdiecast.com.